In this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you how you can make your combo boxes auto-expand not only vertically but uh, horizontally also in order to give your users' interfaces a cleaner look. Um, this combo box, for example, if you click on it, it shows that it's got four columns here and it's a big combo box. But the problem is it takes up a lot of real estate and it doesn't really give your user interface a clean look in that you can't really line it up with the other input boxes here. Um, if you did want to give your user interface a cleaner look and line up all your input boxes and combo boxes to be in a kind of a square pattern here, uh, then the problem is that when you select your combo box, the user doesn't quite see all of the information in the combo box all at once. It does give them this uh, scroll bar here, but again, it's not very clean and it's not very user friendly. So, what you the ideal situation would be to allow your user interface to start off with your combo box this size. When the user clicks on it, it'll expand out to show everything. And believe it or not, this effect is very, very easy to get. Uh, the first thing you want to do, though, is you'll want to make sure that your combo box is defaulted to the shorter uh, length instead of the longer length. What does that mean? That means that when your form opens up your combo box, you want it to show up as the short length. What you want to do is you want to basically put in some code that says on focus. When this combo box has focus, it'll automatically expand out to the longer length and when it loses the focus it'll go back to the shorter length and you can do that by right clicking here and going to properties and there's two event procedures here on God focus and on loss focus so basically let's go ahead and look at the code here and it's nothing more than just one line of code me combo box zero with 6500 on got focus and then 2900 on loss focus now obviously these numbers here are for my user interface and you'll have to play around with these numbers to get it right but uh, the, you, these numbers will change based on where you need your combo boxes to be. So let's go ahead and test this out. So when I open up the form here, the combo box uh, has its original size that basically matches with the other input boxes on the form. When I click on the combo box, it basically expands out to show me everything here. So I don't have to have a scroll bar down at the bottom. It automatically expanded out to show me all my columns in my combo box. When I make a selection, I can go ahead and select another control on the form, and it automatically goes back down. And also, it works with the tab button. Uh, you can't see it on the video, but I'm pressing the tab button. So as I'm tabbing through the controls, you'll see as soon as I tab on the combo box, it expands out. By the way, these numbers aren't inches, these are TWIPs, and TWIPs have uh, to do with the number of pixels that uh, show up on the screen, and it takes 1,440 TWIPs to make an inch. One last thing here, if you want your combo box to automatically drop down when it gets selected, you can go ahead and put this piece of code in here, me combo box drop down, and that will ensure that once your combo box is selected, it'll automatically drop down. For example here, We'll go ahead and test this out. If I tab through here, you'll notice that the combo box automatically dropped down. When I tab off, it goes back to normal. So not only does it expand horizontally, it expands vertically too.